Great morning, holy brothers! Thank you so much for joining us on our pathway to peace inside the Garden of Peace. If you're following along, we're on the bottom of page 54, and today's lesson is called Hurtful Help. Right? Yesterday we talked about when you say something to a person, or you're going to criticize them, and we talked about it for the past two days, that nowadays it's actually going to be very problematic because instead of wanting to help them like you're wanting, it's actually going to be hurting them in the process. And today we're going to learn about number two reason why remarks do not help. By nature, by definition, by divine design, a woman cannot acknowledge actual faults or mistakes even when somebody gently reproves her. You want to be nice about it. You want to try to help her by her makeup, her genetical DNA structural mitochondrial powerhouses of the cell. When you try to give them that advice, what is going to happen when you try to tell her what to do right? She's going to say, thank you so much. She's going to change exactly what she's been doing her whole life just because you told her something. That's it. She's going to be a whole new, brand new person. Right, Ziggy? Absolutely not. No! When you do it gently, it doesn't matter. Even more so if you don't do it gently, but you do it strongly and you do it hurtfully, no wife will ever accept anything coming out of her husband's mouth. Therefore, if you're a little smart in your head, you should realize that your remarks are completely, absolutely useless. So don't waste your words, don't waste your time, and don't cause all this damage. Our sages say, just as, as it is a mitzvah, an actual obligation to chastise somebody that needs it, that needs to be corrected, it is also a magnificent, monumental mitzvah to refrain from opening your mouth when a person is not going to listen to it. Realize that your wife is not going to listen. So if you are not saying something, you're doing more of a mitzvah by keeping your mouth shut and not saying anything in the first place. Since a wife cannot, does not, may not listen to her husband's criticisms, then his remarks will only increase tension, increase animosity, increase fighting, increase more arguments, and they might even turn her accidental misdeed that she didn't know about but she was doing something wrong now into a willful transgression. It's much better if you know somebody's not going to listen to you, not to say a word, and not even teach them about it, because then you're going to make them be more in violation of the Torah by if you did not open your mouth in the first place. And now all their sins that they're doing extra are going to be more hurtful for them, and you're going to have it on your head too. What do you want to say? So you're telling me. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you. Never, ever have like some kind of way to guide them into like away from the avera. Who, your wife? Yeah. No, you should chastise her. You should yell I'm at her. Not you that, should curse her. But you I should remember smack her. reading in you this book. You should beat her. I remember reading in this book that it said something that if you see her sitting, don't bring it up right away. Like wait like a few days and then find like a way to like guide her into the right. It may be about something to help, but not criticizing. I'm not saying criticize. I'm saying let's say, I'm listen. not saying listen, yeah, y'all. Okay, you, you, you keep turning on and off the light. What are you doing? Like we said, Shabbat. we said like this: if your wife is open to learning Torah, or she's excited about Kabbalah, whatever it might be, that she is like, <laughs> wow, latching onto this. This is lighting up her bulb. Yeah, so open up and learn with her. You can go through some stories. You can go through halacha. Whatever it might be, beautiful, amazing, but not. After she does something wrong. Right, yeah, no, I mean, she does. <laughs> Not after she does something wrong. I don't care whether it's today, tomorrow, or on. Thousand years from now, you should live that long, everyone. Okay, right. Number three, remarks are degrading, desensitizing. In a wife's eyes, not only criticism, the buddy, not only when you tell her something wrong, but even the slightest, delicate, uncomplimentary remarks even said with the purest, sweetest motivations, are premeditated affronts and dashing her dignity. She is insulted. She will get angered and unforgiving, certain that her husband does not love her. 
She's going to take it as an affront to her. I don't care how you say it, in whatever way, whichever manner. If he truly loves her, why in the world would he bring up a fault inside her? Any time before, after, or during, the famed Kabbalist, Rabbi Avram Azulai, paraphrased the Mishnah, interacted Avos, and said, quote-unquote, do not look at a person during his hour of failure or weakness, for then the person hides so no one will see him. And when you discover his failure, he'll think that you're taking joy in his misery. His words. If a husband was super sensitive and had a little brain in his head, he would just feel how insulting, how degrading his remarks and criticisms are to a wife. Even when they're said with the utmost kindness and the most pureness and positive of intentions. If he knew how sharply his remarks were piercing through her heart like a blade, he would never in any mind want those to come out of his mouth. He would never say such things. We are in the middle of discussing the reasons why one should never comment or make criticisms to his wife. And here's another one, just in case you didn't have enough in your bag yet. Please listen further. One who criticizes his wife, forget what you're doing to her. What are you doing to yourself? What's happening when that's coming out of your mouth? What are you not refraining from using? Speech. Yeah. What kind of person are you? If you're spewing negativity or spewing hurtful comments to your wife? Arrogant. Ah. Uh. You have a media of flaming, yeah, he didn't look in the book. <laughs> media of flaming arrogance, of selfishness, that fire inside you that you need to crush, that you need to pour water on to smoke out. The truth is that the husband who criticize, they're not gentle and not so well-meaning in doing so because they have a drive deep down inside to remark, to comment, to criticize him, to complain, to find faults into those that are closest to them all around them. And that drive stems from that flame of selfishness, that flame of arrogance, that flame of haughtiness and cruelty, which means they have an utter lack of self-control inside themselves. It's not about you. Keep your mouth closed because you don't need to be the one to say it. Stop thinking that you have to do it. Stop thinking that it is from a pure intent motivation because if you analyze it and you recognize how wrong it is and you realize how downfall destructive it is actually being, you would never ever do that and those words can never come out of your mouth. Keep your tongue straight, your teeth closed, and your lips sealed. A husband must therefore ask himself, where in the world are these comments and criticisms coming from? If he's honest with himself and does actual evaluation and to look inside, he'll discover that his drive to make those comments and criticisms are a sign of some sort of arrogance, some character flaw. His media is not correct. And there is some cruelty within himself that he needs to work on and to fix. And that Mida is going to be apparent in other aspects of his life as well. But this is where it's the most hurtful, especially to a wife. So recognize where it's coming from and to uproot that seed that has been planted where those roots have been dug down deep into his heart. You need to eliminate those and rip those out from the core, from where it's starting from. And let's keep going. Remarks are damaging. Many people have a tendency to tear themselves down. And women especially. They always think, oh, I look so fat. Oh, I don't look so good today. <laughs> oh, these clothes are going to be disgusting. Even if they spend hours and days picking them out shopping and spending so much money on it, women often feel that they're not good enough, that they're not doing enough or that they're not making their husbands happy enough, or they're not satisfying them. A criticizing husband is going to add fuel to that fire of self-persecution 
and that low self-image that they already have to push them down further into the ground. That type of husband, he justifies and reinforces his wife's negative feelings about herself. And in extreme cases, his remarks and criticism are going to put her right onto the psychiatrist's sofa, heaven forbid. Don't allow your wife to feel fat, ugly, dumb, or unimportant. Your words have protective power to polarize personalities. Understand that women are, are gentle creatures. They are very emotional. They have actual hormones a little bit more than you do, my friend. Just a <laughs> drop. And if they're going to be on a spiral downward, any slight word that you say that you might think is neutral is going to be so downright destructive to them. So be super careful and super sensitive about every word that comes out of your mouth to only help her, to elevate her, to give her some encouragement and positive power within her soul itself. And with that, have an awesome, amazing rest of your day. Then